guys, it's Gabby, and I'm here with my cousin and my role model. Say your name. Oh, hi, Malia Beth <laughs> Johnson. And she's an actress, and I'm going to be doing an interview, so I have my questions here. So let's just go ahead and get started. So when did you decide to become an actress? I decided to become an actress when I saw the movie Hook. Oh. I know. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Um, I always liked being in plays and the center of attention and I don't know if you remember but I used to make you guys do like little mm -hmm. okay cool yeah. we would do like these little sketches for the whole family and mm -hmm. stuff yeah but I saw the movie and I just remember having that feeling you know the feeling mm -hmm. you get when you see a movie yeah and it's a movie that you really identify with I was really young and it made me feel like super excited the one was your very first audition for like um do were you like in plays and stuff Oh, uh, hmm. my first audition. I can't remember my first audition. It feels like I was always auditioning, <laughs> you know? Yeah. My first audition was for um, the play, my school play in seventh grade. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I did, a, I did Annie. I did a lot growing up. I always, was always doing plays mm -hmm. and stuff. My mom yeah. really did that. What do you do when you prepare for an audition? Um, to prepare for an audition, I... First of all, read if I get the full script, which is a really, really big mm -hmm. bonus. Like yeah. that's great. Even if I only have the character only has one line, mm -hmm. getting the entire script is gold. Yeah. Gold. So um I read through the entire script and just really get a feel for all of it. And then I read my scene like a million times. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a lot. You're prepared. A lot. Yeah. I mean, you want to be prepared. You always want to keep the script with you in the room because mm -hmm. you don't, you know, if you go in there and then there's so many scenarios that can happen in the audition yeah. room with the casting director. And what if they say something or let's start with this line. You need to be able to quickly, you know, nerves can get in the way of stuff. Sorry, I'm yeah. rambling. <laughs> but I mean, I do a lot to prepare. Um, my husband is a writer, Max. Mm -hmm. So. It's helpful it, it to hand it to him and be like, is there anything I'm missing? And he'll say, mm -hmm. well, what do you think? And I tell him everything I'm thinking. And sometimes he has little insights that I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely helpful to yeah. have a writer who's really into movies. Okay. What shows and commercials have you been on? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Arrested Development. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was a while ago. That one... That was so fun. That was like a master class in comedy mm -hmm. and acting. Yeah. I mean, Jason Bateman, um, you know, Will, it was just it was amazing. It was mm -hmm. amazing. And then Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. being on that set with them two times. I love that show. It's so funny. <laughs> so funny. So amazing. Yeah. Jim O'Hare plays my dad, and he's incredible. He's <laughs> amazing. Loved it. So, and you were on um, Old Spice commercial recently. Yes, yes. yes. Um, we filmed that actually in October of 2013, so wow. last year. Um, and, you know, when you are where I am at with mm -hmm. auditioning and on, and getting parts, commercials really do help you so that you mm -hmm. can keep doing it as your full-time job yeah. and not having to do, you know, um, a waitress job or anything yeah. on the side. Commercials really help, and they're a lot of fun, and you meet great people, but sometimes they don't end up using the commercial. Mm -hmm. It's not because of you, they just don't end up using it. Yeah. Um, so I was worried that they weren't going to use it, but then it started airing last Yay. week. Yeah. I was so excited. Yeah. What is it like being in a commercial, making it? Um, if you've ever, so in the summertime, mm -hmm. you don't have school. Yes. Right. <laughs> and then Keep when you this. go back to school and that day or the two days after your first two days of school mm -hmm. and you get home and you lay down on your bed and you go wow it's kind of like being out of shape yeah you go whoa that was a really i did so oh there's so <laughs> much i had to do so a commercial is usually a really long day yeah they usually get it done in one day although um i did a honda commercial that was four days Wow. Um, they're very, it's very long. You are always on point. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom taught me a lot of discipline on how you mm -hmm. should be on set because if you, if you aren't really great on set and fun to be around and 
you stay out of people's way. You don't touch props Mm -hmm. because that's props department. You Mm -hmm. don't touch your face because that's makeup's department. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mess up someone else's job. Um, My mom really taught me. How to do that. Yeah, because if you don't do that, they'll get someone else. But being in a commercial is a lot of fun. Being on a commercial is about being there, being present, doing what needs to happen, being on point, and mm-hmm. trying to do everything quickly. Everything's about time. Yeah. Tell me about your jewelry line. I started it because I love jewelry. Yes. I'm obsessed with jewelry. <laughs> My mom loves jewelry, and I couldn't really find a lot of the things that I wanted. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I was working at Hollister, mm-hmm. and this is when I was 15. And they only let you wear jewelry that's their style of jewelry. So I started making jewelry for everybody that worked at Hollister. Uh That was Hollister style jewelry. Um, And then I stopped doing it. And um, like two years ago, my mom mentioned it again. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it. And it was, you know, something where when I'm on set, I could be working on it Mm -hmm. and doing something. So it's, I love creating things, you know, I like painting and drawing and and acting is creating. Um, so that's how it that's how it got started. Where can the people buy your jewelry at? Cool. <laughs> um, so, plug, plug, you can <laughs> buy my jewelry at Etsy. I'll leave the link in. <laughs> it's I'll down leave, here somewhere. Yes, it's the in the link. description. Okay. <laughs> um, so what is your most popular piece? Surprisingly, I never thought that this would happen, but it's my wish bracelet or anklet mm-hmm. line. Yeah. So, have you ever... Yes, I made one um, at a school trip, and it fell yeah. off, obviously, but I wore it. Yeah. It fell off, um, but my mom was wearing one on her ankle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've sold some that ha- are of garnets mm-hmm. and It's so rubies simple. And, yeah, it's but really it's... simple, and people... It's a great gift for other people. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you like to paint. Yes. Um, what's your favorite medium? Like, charcoal, watercolor... Ooh, um, I like almost all of it. Mm-hmm. I really like working with acrylic because it dries quickly. Yeah. Because... It's pretty easy to work with. Yeah, it, um, I mean, most people, painters like oil because mm-hmm. oil, you can keep manipulating it. You can go to bed and then wake up the next morning and kind of tweak some things in mm-hmm. it. Um, but I have, like, an idea and I need to, like, get it out there. Mm-hmm. And then I want to keep working on it. I can't take too much time in between working on yeah. it. So acrylic dries quickly, and that's what I like, and you can get a lot of great body Mm -hmm. from it. Okay, so that is all the questions. (laughs) Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Um, So, yeah, make sure to check out her website and buy some jewelry from her. They're really pretty, and, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you can check me out on TV. Yes. Okay, so I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, lovely. Bye. Okay. I'll throw that away later. Okay, it's recording by the way, but I will cut this out. Okay. Oh, we're doing, this is happening. Yes, okay. Did you want to do something and then, did you want to say something yes. and then yes. I'll come back? No, you can sit Stay. there. Yeah, you can sit. Okay, okay. I'll sit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to close the door first because I can't let anyone know these secrets. I know we're putting these, up, you're putting these out there, but... If you want me to shut up, you'd have to, like, punch me in the face, I think. (laughs) Um, Yay, we're done. Awesome.